the World Heritage inscribes the Imperial Citadel of Thanglong Hanoi on the UNESCO World Heritage List. As the citadel is directly associated with numerous and important cultural and historical events, and leading artistic expressions and moral, philosophical and religious ideas. The succession of these events marks the formative and development process of an independent nation over more than a thousand years. Such a special heritage is rarely found in the world. On an area of 19,000 square meters, the archaeologists discovered many cultural layers under the ground. On the bottom layer, the archaeologists found the vestiges of the Dila era, as identified in the edict on the transfer of the capital written by King Lai Kong Yuan. The vestiges show the fertility of Chao Chao, the name of northern Vietnam then. The first proofs of the Dila era are the pre Thanglong era. Are rectangular grey bricks typical of the architecture of the Dila era and sewers? In addition, three wells built of grey bricks were excavated. The most intact well is around 5.9 meters deep. The well was strongly built. On the well, there is a row of red bricks which were made in the Lai Dynasty. The well was reused in the Lai Dynasty right when the capital was moved. From Hoalu, Nine Bin to Dila. Apart from the architectural vestiges, other objects such as bricks titles, ceramics, etc. were found. Square bricks. Some of them were carved with lotus flowers, some were carved with swimming crocodiles. Tiles are mainly yin and yang ones. Some Yang tiles were carved with different kinds of lotus flowers. And some were carved with animals' faces. Some architectural works were decorated with big animals' faces. On the cultural layers above the bottom layer, there are vestiges from the 10th century to the 14th century. When there are many cultural layers at an archaeological site, the vestiges of the 10th century are hardly recognized. However, under the vestiges of the Lai Dynasty, the archaeologists found many ceramics and terracotta objects typically of the 10th century. Especially, they also found kinds of high-quality bricks and tiles. Those are Diviet Hua Quan Fen Cha in brick. And kinds of tiles with images of birds on them. These kinds of bricks and tiles are similar to those used in the construction of ancient Hoalu capital in the second half of the 10th century and the early 11th century. Apparently, in the 10th century, 
big architectural works were built on the Dila ground. Architectural vestiges of Lai dynasty were found throughout the archaeological site. Basing on those elements, the archaeologists gradually recognized and analyzed the vestiges of some architectural plants of the Lai dynasty. Apart from rectangular architectures typical of the Lai dynasty, at the 18 Hong Du archaeological site, polygonal architectures were also found. For example, a system of 11 columnar foundations, shaping a six-petal flower, with a square foundation in the middle, was discovered. This kind of architecture is said to be a hexagonal house, used for serving the entertainment demand of the royal palace. An important discovery is an octagonal work in the Lai dynasty in the Sea area. The work is said to be Thing Kong Palace which was built in 1030. The palace was where the king listened to political affairs. Thus, only on a small area, the archaeologists found the vestiges of many palaces. Many of them date from the Lai dynasty. These architectural works were methodically built. In the 13th and 14th centuries, although some architectural works built in the Lai dynasty were still maintained, the Tran dynasty brought a new face to Thang Long capital. Some works feature the architectures of both the Lai dynasty and the Tran dynasty. The Lai Dynasty's technique of using clay and bricks to make the floor building gravel foundation was found. The Tran Dynasty has distinctive architecture shown through nicely and complicatedly carved patterns on curves. Different from wells in the Dila era and the Lai Dynasty, those in the Tran Dynasty were built with herringbone architecture. Construction materials in the Tran Dynasty are much different from those in the Lai Dynasty. Noticeably, tiles were fired at higher temperature, and have the letters Vin 9 Trong, the place where they were produced. Patterns on paving stones and the heads of body tree leaf shaped tiles remain dragon, phoenix, lotus petal, daisy, etc. But they were made in a simpler and more delicate manner. The Tran Dynasty excellently learned the essence of the Lai Dynasty architecture, while developing new features to create its distinctive architecture. Thang Long Imperial Citadel architecture was influenced by Buddhist beliefs. Buddhism has long been one of the major religions in the world. The profound influence of Buddhism on the architectures of the Lai and Tran Dynasties was shown through Buddhist rituals. Pagodas, architectural works whose materials and decorative patterns carried Buddhist motifs. Most people in those dynasties were followers of Buddhism. The bricks with the letters Hung Ho theme two meaning bricks to build Hung Ho Pagoda, were found in the archaeological site at NO.18 Hong Du Street. There, many miniature Buddha seven-story, nine-story towers made from earthenware are white porcelain with decorative patterns such as lotus petals, chrysanthemums on were discovered. The imprints of Buddhism flooded the palaces in the Lai and Tran dynasties. Patterns of body leaf, lotus and statue of couples seen on the artifacts were familiar symbolic images in Buddhism. Tiles in the shape of a body tree leaf with patterns of two dragons, two phoenixes, Buddhist tower, foot of stone columns carved with lotus petals and lotus decorative patterns on tiles placed at the edges of palace roof, etc., are evidence for this. 
among the artifacts discovered in the excavation site in the central sector of the Imperial Citadel of Penglong. There are many artifacts made in the Lai and Tren dynasties, carrying feature of Chen and Indian cultures. For example, there are pieces of a white porcelain tower carved with the image of the dancing Apsar fairy, bricks carved with patterns of Garuda mythical bird and Kinri goddess. This is a vivid evidence of the influences of Hindu culture to the Thanglong imperial citadel in the Lai dynasty through the Southeast Asian countries, including Kampa. Following the Tran dynasty, after 20 years of fighting against the foreign invaders, the Lai dynasty changed the name of Thanglong to Dongdu and then Dongkin, and continued building the citadel on the foundation the Lai and Tran dynasties built. Through Lai dynasty architectural works were completely destroyed, when the Guyen dynasty built the Thanglong Imperial Citadel in 1803, and the French invaders demolished it in 1897. Traces of the La dynasty architecture can still be seen everywhere. Tens of thousands of bricks made in the La dynasty, which were found are a clear proof for this. As recorded in history, a large number of soldiers was engaged building the capital, such as Bo Kentucky Kwan, Drangfeng Kwan, Drungia Kwan were uncovered. At the same time, there are many kinds of tiles, such as titles with lotus petal shaped heads, yin yang tiles, and laugh shaped tiles. Especially, there are blue enamel tiles and yellow enamel tiles, whose heads were decorated with five claw dragon patterns symbolizing the power of the king. The wells in the La dynasty were almost built of bricks, rock and even broken bricks. Confucianism was honored in the La dynasty, so decorative patterns related to Buddhism, such as lotus, lotus flower, lotus petals, body tree leaf, etc., were not as popular as earlier. Instead, the tiles in this time had chrysanthemum and dragon as the major patterns. It was the time the four sacred animals appeared in which the dragon led, following the unicorn, turtle, and phoenix. That is why they are seen on earthenware construction materials. In three years from 2011 to 2013, archaeologists from the Institute of Archaeology conducted several excavations at number 9 Hongdu Street, the area between Kimpin Palace and Donmon Gate. Here they discovered the structure of the courtyard in the La Dynasty, and many other architectural works. In the Edict on the Transfer of the Capital, King Lai Tai to stated the reasons for his choice of the capital land. Based on Feng Shui principles, he chose the land which was in the very heart of the universe. The position evoked soaring dragon and stalking tiger in the center of the four directions, facing the river and leaning the mountain. The sacred land to build the capital had blue dragon to the left and white tiger to the right. Here, blue dragon indicates the Mi River surrounding the capital in the east, and white tiger indicates Tan Mount protecting the citadel in the west. Nung Mount is located in the center. It is considered the navel dragon where the sacred atmosphere of mountains and rivers gather. It is the center of the forbidden city that located Kangu Yen Palace where the king met mandarins and solemn rites were held in which the king represented the heaven, the earth, the people and was said to know everything in the heaven, the earth, and understand his people. Influenced by principle of the Book of Changes and Feng Shui theory, the dynasties built royal citadel on the deity axis, running through the main entrance to the south. The Thanglong Imperial Citadel, the power center for more than a thousand years, has witnessed the transformation of a great civilization in Southeast Asia. The on-ground relics and unearthed artifacts found in the heart of the Thanglong Imperial Citadel are vivid proofs of the long-lasting cultural exchanges 
between our country and other countries in the past. Because the influences of external cultures such as Buddhism, Confucianism, Feng Shui theory, Kampa culture can still be found, which made political, economic and cultural center of a country. In the Red River Delta unique and distinctive. The interference and acculturation of culture were reflected in the way of creating landscapes, planning palaces, the evolution of architecture and decorative arts through the historical times through which one can imagine how magnificent the age-old Thanglong Imperial Citadel, imbued with national cultural identity, is.